Hey there, you guys. This is going to be a general reading that I felt um, called to do. Uh, it's called the Heart of the Matter reading. So um, I trust that this reading will reach who it's meant to reach at the time and space whenever the person watches it that it's meant for them. So this is a general reading for you, the viewer, based upon uh, the person that you are dealing with, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're dating, or whether you're interested in someone, this is for you and that other individual, okay? So the top row represents your energy, the viewer. The second row represents the person that you're inquiring about. The bottom two cards, you and the other person. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So what is it that you can learn from the person that you are dealing with and you have 21 of embrace so what i get from that energy is what you can learn from this person i feel like they have a, a big heart they have a universal heart meaning they they have a very pure hearted um universal love it's not just one dimensional it's not just you know just fixed on okay this is a family sibling love or this is a romantic love or this is a that you know their love is very infinite i feel like you can learn from that person i feel like this is who they are this is their divine essence being this way um what it is that they can learn from you they have the third eye chakra so i feel like this person um, could learn from you how to trust in their own intuition, how to build their intuition, um, you know, start seeing things from their spiritual sight and view. Maybe they're very logical in their thinking, um, very limited as far as their beliefs spiritually, or even trusting in themselves, you know, not giving themselves enough credit that they have more control over their lives than they do. Um, I feel like you could teach them about that. Then as far as what it is that you expect from them, what you expect currently, you have dreams coming true. So I feel like you expect this person to emotionally fulfill your desires, like be able to kind of complete you emotionally, like be everything that you want. It's like you emotionally put a lot of power in their hands as far as them being everything that you desire or being able to give you everything that you desire emotionally or in love i feel like you expect that person to be that or you see this person as that for them what they expect from you they have the solar plexus chakra so i feel like what they are expecting from you is to embody this energy of confidence in yourself assertiveness willpower strength courage i feel like they want you to um create from that space i feel like they want you to be i'm hearing authentic to yourself but i'm also hearing that they want you to believe in your own power if that makes sense believe in yourself so how can you be more supportive of them so for you how you can be more supportive you have refusing to see so i feel like what you how you can be more supportive of them is to help them get out of their head a little bit help them to see another side of life um or to broaden their perspective and not just think from one side um, not just think logical minded, but also in, you want to help them or support them in tapping into their higher selves or their higher perspective, which goes back to the third eye chakra, I feel, as far as what they can learn from you. So I feel like you want to help them with that. Then as far as how they can be supportive of you, they have darkest fears. So I feel like they'll be able to help alleviate any mental worries you have in your mind that you know that causes you to worry or to overthink i feel like they want to be there to help you 
um, like I said, alleviate some of that. So both cards are mental energy. So I feel like you both are on the same page as far as that. Being supportive of one another's thoughts help to change your thinking patterns to help you stop overthinking, stop worrying, stop doubting yourself, get out of anxiety. Um, don't create from that space because it's creating, you know, you're looking at things from this faulty perspective. And I feel like they want to support you and in that help you to get out of it. So what is it that you need to work on to become a better person or partner to this person? You have the moving on card. So what you need to do to become a better person or partner for this person is you're going to have to emotionally walk away from something in the past, something that doesn't serve you. I feel like some type of karmic cycle or karmic relationship, um, an abundance of emotional energy or some type of depressive state that maybe you were in i feel like you need to move away from that energy it doesn't serve you i feel like it, it's getting in the way of what you have between you or what you could potentially have with this person i feel like you haven't fully let go of something emotional in your past and spirits telling you to move on from that so I feel like that's what you need to do as far as what they need to do to become a better person or partner to you. They have the shine card. So although they're embracing, they're very loving. I feel like they need to be embracing of what's within their heart and share that love with you or share what's inside of their heart. Because as a part of them, even though they're embracing, they have this universal love to share and give. I feel like they're not that open as far as sharing it with you for whatever reason or just sharing it period you know they they could be giving to others and be very friendly and be very pure-hearted but when it comes to showing that love letting it be known um i feel like they have a hard time with that so i feel like that's something that they would need to work on so what is it that this person needs from you they have helplessness or helpless and hopeless. So what they need from you, I feel like, is some type of reassuring that it's okay to step forward. I feel like they're looking at this as an obstacle, like it's very hard to reach you, like it's hard to get to you. Um, because of something you need to move away from, I feel like they perceive you know their needs they're perceiving that they need to know that they're able to elevate with you or they're able to reach the peak with you because it's like they see the positive they see this light um at the same time it's like they're looking at the obstacles as well like it's going to take time to get to this like there's it's going to be a challenge so i feel like they need to know that they're able to obtain this with you um maybe even help direct them or work with them on how to reach this positive peak with you because they might feel like it's going to be very hard for what it is that you need from this person you have moved so I feel like what you need from this person is like this reassurance that it's going to go the distance, that it's going to go somewhere. It's going to deepen. There's a white ribbon that connects these two hands and their hands are creating this energy around this heart. So for me, I get this vibe that you need um, to know and be reassured or be assured that this is going to be a lasting committed relationship that this is divinely meant to be that you and this person are going to last and you're going to go places and i feel like they see this energy here i feel like they believe that you're you're able to work but it's kind of like they're seeing all of these obstacles that you would both have to um you know, in order to get to where you need to be, that you guys would have to go through all of these obstacles and they feel like hopeless, like, what do I do? And you want to know if this is going to be long standing, long term, is this going to be 
that commitment, almost like wedding energy. So whether you physically want to marry this person or you just want that lifetime commitment, I feel like you would need to know that. Okay. Um, so what is the direction of the relationship need to take on your end? You have just breathed. So I feel like the direction that this relationship needs to take on your side of things is you just need to trust and allow really um i feel like your mind is in this clouded perception this dark place or this fearful place you're overworking yourself mentally and spirit's just telling you to rest and trust in your highest self trust that it's safe to trust in your own self that it's okay to trust your judgment that it's okay to follow your intuition that you're safe that your highest self has your best interest that your spiritual team has your best interest for them what direction does this connection need to take for them they have win or lose so for them they also are need to work on their mental state as well they need to shift their perception that love is a win or lose situation because i feel like that's what's causing the helpless and hopelessness here is that they perceive love is a challenge or it's an obstacle that either you're going to win or you're going to lose so i feel like they need to shift out of that perception that love is a game pretty much is how they're looking at it like it's a gamble when in, in actuality i mean love is a risk you do take a risk when you give up yourself to another person and you you know you call you open yourself up for vulnerability you know there's no guarantees that it will last forever. There's no guarantee that that person will love you the same or, or whatnot. But at the same time, spirit wants you to look at love as it just is. It just is. Okay. Not to think too far out and not to worry about it, but just be pretty much is what you're being guided to do. And for them, they need to, to know that love is not a win or lose situation. It just is. Okay. All right, you guys, so that was the reading. I hope that you've enjoyed this spread. Um, this reading is available on my website. Again, it's the heart of the matter um, spread. I will leave a link below if you're interested in your own personal reading with this spread. And for all other readings, I will leave that information below. And as always, you guys, I'm sending you much love. Until next time.